Hey there guys and welcome back to Polybridge. Uh, last time we finished Alpine Meadows, so today we're going to be moving on to Desert Winds, the second, I don't know, what would you call them, campaign world, I guess. So we'll start with Wooden High Bridge. That is a very high bridge and it's on a slope. This could be interesting for the bus. On the other hand, it's the first diagonal that's actually matched up properly, so that's something, I guess. What am I going to do here? Um, well, my first choice would be to see if there's a way to do it without those two nodes, because that would probably save the most money. Um, where's like halfway between those nodes? There, I think, works best. Okay. Um, then I just have to work out how to like continue it along. I I feel like I can't quite manage the same diagonal. <laughs> um, okay. This is proving interesting to do. So I kind of want to control uh, I do want to go underneath, so... B And then if I connect up either end with wood Delete all the road on the second layer I can then come in with the wood and replace it Well that almost worked Okay. Why does this not actually work like it should? I'm going to have to go with a new plan. And that new plan is the standard time for an arch. We'll go over the top. Uh, fill. There we go. And then just uh, triangles. Triangles are best. There we go. Of course, that doesn't hold. Who am I kidding? Why on earth would that hold? Um, try and bring that out like so, and out there, and to there. Then on this side, we want to come out to here. Um, right. Can I move that across at all? Yes. Can't move it back. Right. I guess it's just a matter of putting in as many trusses as I can here. I've still got quite a bit of budget, so that didn't work. I guess. Part of it was because this buckled. And the centre. The other part was because this just really can't hold itself. I acknowledge that this wood over the top is not the best. Um. Okay, another plan would be to start again with the structure and trace up like I want to cut vertically to begin with. Uh, 
So sort of like that. Fill. Um, that didn't go as planned. I will be honest. Okay. Because the fill tool won't work, I'm going to have to manually wrap it round. There we go. And obviously I can't reach that. Which is fun. Right, we'll have to look into that in a second. Then I need to do the same on the other side. Maybe actually trace again. The there we go. That's probably good. Turn off the tracing tool. And again, wrap around. And then truss. It's not really a truss, but that's what I'm going to go with. And up there. Get into there and there. Some triangles. Can't quite manage that. Don't know what I thought that would do. I'll have to look into that in a minute. That can be accessed by all. And then. I come up here, I can get in there, and that can get into all of these nodes. I can't quite reach that, but now I can. I can't get over far enough to reach that one, but I'm about to see what that will do. I don't reckon it will work. That bit definitely won't. No, this needs more support. That was to be expected. I'm just been I'm putting an awful lot of force through tiny areas. This is going to be interesting. Um, I really don't know how I want to play this. Okay, I might trace again over the top. But a lot higher. Oh no! Don't don't do that. Fill with wood. And then have another trace underneath, like that. Clear the tracer. Set the grid off so I can try and pull that node through. There we go. Then connect through with these. And we should be able to truss it up to some extent. I would hope. Triangle truss for the win. It's not a truss. It kind of is a truss. I shouldn't be calling it a truss. Okay, just going to bring the verticals up here. And then we have to work out how to do the diagonals. So I can't do that one. Or oh, that one. And if I can't do it there, I'm not going to do it on any of these others. So. I guess it's time to look at bracing. Okay. 
it's not doing a lot to help, I'll be honest. That's just moved to the problem elsewhere. Where is it now? Ooh, 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 the way down here. Okay. If I just reinforce the road. I just shift the problem. Turn the grid on. I'm getting there on that budget. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to be doing it very cheap. But if I can get that bus across the river, then that's all that matters, really. Okay. Right, that now supports the middle. So... Aha! It's not fallen over yet. Right, well that side collapses, but can I get rid of any of this structure? Possibly not. I might have to get rid of a little bit of it though. I think it was over engineered now that we've got the middle structure. Because that's still smaller and cheaper than it was before. However, it hasn't held, so maybe I'm wrong in saying that. Just actually brace it against the wall. That just about holds, so it's just down here. Just truss across there to get another support, and hopefully that will be sufficient. That one strut over here breaks, but honestly. I might just leave that. Oh, it still breaks. What exactly is it that breaks? It is that end node. That end, uh, you know, this thing. If I just reinforce the road. Oh, that still doesn't help. Uh, That works. <laughs> Technically under budget. Oh, I did. I could have done that so much cheaper, and I have done it so much cheaper. I might have to come back to it at some point, especially since there's a break in it. I'm gonna have to come back to it. My self-imposed rules I must return to any level that has a break in it at the end of the world. But for now, let's make a drawbridge. This one shouldn't be as difficult, he says optimistically. Um, I'm thinking standard truss. Probably doesn't actually need to be that tall, so that's where the split boat's going to be. Coming over here. Actually, is that where the split load is going to be? Because the boat isn't centred. I might make that the split load. And strut up there, and then this can be on a hydraulic. We extend. Okay, I need to look at the um, level info. 
So the hydraulic, then the boat, then the hydraulic, then the camper van. The hydraulic is not capable of holding that move. I'd like to have it support out to there. If I do that, doesn't help. Okay then. I might move the split node. I mean, I've just made myself the same length of road over here to be moving. I, I know that looks weird, but there is method behind the madness. Oh, it's because I wanted to mount a hydraulic there. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I am thinking maybe contracting is better. I know that it, it's another of these bridges where I'm going to try and pull it down rather than push it up, but... We'll just put the road back in. Hydraulics there. It would be fine if that held. Maybe just a bit of steel. No. I'm really tempted to just put that in. Um, I'd really need something to support there. That technically works. <laughs> oh, I did it very cheap as well. Uh, the cheapest I've ever done it, so that, that's that's good, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one.